must settle down. Now, today we're going to take a look at the facts of life. Oh, oh no, no, sir. No, not sex education. We've done that, sir. No. Nothing like that. Now, we've all reached a responsible age where I think we can talk sensibly about work. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's enough! <laughs> that's just a sort of puerile sniggering you should have grown out of by now. Yes. There is nothing dirty or smutty about work. All right? <laughs> all right! Yes, yes sir. sir! Now then, can anyone tell me where jobs come from. Sir, from under a gooseberry bush. No, sir, sir, <laughs> sir, sir, the stork brings them. No, sir, 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 uh, you get them from the job centre. <laughs> <laughs> That's kid stuff. You don't still believe that, do you? <laughs> I mean, jobs just don't happen, you know. Now, look, listen. A worker and an employer. <laughs> well, they sort of get together. <laughs> but if you'd like to turn to page 47 of your textbooks, you'll see diagrams depicting certain various basic positions for getting work. <laughs> Look at this one, he's on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> that is called the submissionary position, Mark. <laughs> One, that particular one, the employer is on top. <laughs> but they can change positions. So I can't imagine my dad and his boss doing that. <laughs> There's nothing unnatural about it, Kay. Sir, do you work? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfectly healthy activity, and one which you yourselves will experience one day. Oh, no. Well, us. Never. I can't see us doing that, sir. No, on second thoughts, you're probably right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>